Shall one when it's of souls by giving no praise to how by Shem Yahusha by Shem Kakudash that belongs the apostle great millstone and honors you brothers doing the work of the most high truth and in sincerity. Yahweh's real name of whom the world ignorantly calls God Jehovah or Yahweh. His real name is Yahweh and the son's true name is Yahweh Shai. Blue and we pray, pray Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. This is a quick one. Um, uh, basically inspired, uh, I was listening to Paul Star. And uh, he, he said a word recompense uh, in his video, and I thought, yeah, let me um, let, 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 let me get into that if the spirit wills, right? So I'm just gonna go, you know, go 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 through some of these precepts that I've collated, right? So I'm gonna start off with Galatians six and seven. Be not deceived; the Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever man soweth, that sh all shall he also reap, right? And you know, as as we um, you know, touch on. A lot, right? The reason why we, as as a nation of Israel, are in the state that we're in, is because we sinned against the Most High, right? Precept that always comes up, right? Is uh, Micah seven and nine, which says, "I will bear the indignation of Yahweh because I've sinned against Him until He plead my cause and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to light, and I shall behold His righteousness." Right? So we understand that the position that we're in is because we sinned, right? But as such. Right, these different heathen nations, you know, they've touched the, the apple of the Lord's eye, right? They've touched the Israelites, and they, and as such, they are gonna have to pay for that, right? Just like how we pay, guess what? They go and pay too, right? So that you know, that is a recompense, and and the thing is, it starts off with the Edomites. The Edomites are the primary uh, ones, right? But ultimately, it was all these different heathen nations coming together. This is Psalms 83 from 2, for Lord, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up their head, right? Um, it says, they have taken crafty counsel against our people, have consulted against our hidden ones. And when you look at some of the things that they have done to keep Jake in the position that, you know, that they're in, right, in this dead state, right, is, it was, was crafty. When you, when you watch um, all of these different awards shows and they're saying, Ah, uh, yeah, you know, Oscar's so white, and you know, or or, or what else are they doing? Um, uh, you know, best black this, that, and the other, and you know, pushing that blackness, right? That is keeping Israel away from who they really are, right? You know, when they complain about someone like Eminem winning, uh, winning awards like rap or best rapper or something like that, that is. Uh, you know, taken away from this whole idea that actually you're going to have Israelites that look like so-called white people. You're going to have Israelites that look like so-called um, uh, uh, Japhites, man. Right? You're going to have Israelites that look like, you know, all the nations because we're scattered amongst all the nations. But what these nations have done has been a, a crafty a way to basically keep Jake black and then also to keep the separation Right of the two tribes, right of the rather of the two houses, right the, the the house of Israel, right, and the um uh, 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 and the house of uh, uh, basically the, the the children of Israel, right the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. Let me phrase it like that, right. Um, you know, for instance, when they complain about Bruno Mars and Cardi B or whatever, look, man, they're they they are brothers too, right? Yeah, you know the 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 black and brown together, as they were saying in what the eighties or nineties. You know, I forget the. Uh, I'm not too, or rather, I'm not too sure about the era, right? But that that was all a crafty council to keep the two houses. Uh, that is a crafty council to keep the two houses separate, right? Um, that's why it says, for example, in Isaiah eleven, right, Judah shall not vex Ephraim, and Ephraim shall not vex Judah, right? Because the, you know there's contention, and he sort of plays on that, and he tries to perpetuate that. But however, right, regardless of what you want to do. Guess what? The, the two, the, the, the two, um, the two kingdoms are coming together. This is Psalms eighty-three and four. Says they have said, "Come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance." Right? See, and it is the thing because they think that they did it. Right? These heathens think that they did it, but actually, it was all the, um, you know, it's all the the the, the will of the Most High. Right? This is Jeremiah seventeen and four. And thou even thyself shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee, right? So this is, um, you know, us, you know, not being a nation anymore, right? The fact that once again we identify as black, we identify as Hispanic, right? When actually we're the Israelites, okay? 
Um, it says, and I will cause, uh, back in uh, Jeremiah 17, 4, it says, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in mine anger which shall burn forever. Right. So the fact that we discontinued from our heritage, the fact that these nations are able to keep bamboozling us from who we really are was actually all a part of the Lord's uh, anger. Right. The Lord allowed them. Right. That's why, despite what, despite the efforts of these different heathens, Right, guess what? The nation's coming back together, right? It's Ezekiel the 37th chapter, right? That one stick, right? So the nation is coming back together despite what these heathens are, you know, trying to do. And, you know, on this side, it's going to be the elect. But in the kingdom, right, all Israel is going to be one once again. Uh, carrying on, it's for they've consulted together with one consent, their confederate against thee, right? So basically israel has enemies although the, the 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 you know those of our people that aren't enlightened think that you know everyone's their friend okay so the tabernacles of edom right so primarily the edomites man so when it comes to recompense yo these edomites they go and get it right because they have touched israel right these edomites have touched israel man right but guess what the ishmaelites too those so-called uh uh, Arabs, right, Moab, right, and uh, some some of those Moabites, like for instance, you 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 see some of them walking around, and you know, in the, you know, I was talking about long because that's that's where we where we are, right, and they'll be some of the proudest ass motherfuckers, man. They'll treat you worse than Esau sometimes, right, and just the way they look at you, you know, the Esau, um, you know, not saying Esau ain't the devil, <laughs> let's not get it twisted, <laughs> right, but Esau will, um. Uh, 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 has has learned not to be so upfront with it, but Moab don't give a shit. Okay, so Moab go and get it too, right? Those so-called Chinese, they go and get it too. Okay, so then the Hagarines, Gabal and Ammon and Amalek, the Philistines, with the inhabitants of Tyre, right? So basically, these these different heathen nations, they've all come and tried to touch the apple of the Lord's eye, and they go they're gonna have to pay for that. Okay. Um, so yeah, but back, 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 back to this Galatians six seven. Be not deceived. The Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. Right. So once again, all of these primarily the Edomite. Right. Really got to stress that primarily the Edomite. But all of these different heathen nations have sown a uh, uh, wickedness. Right. They have sown uh, 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 and and shed the blood of the children of Israel. So guess what's going to happen to them? Right. Their blood is going to be shed. Uh, Colossians 3.25 But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done And there is no respect of persons Yeah, So like for instance in this, in this context right, or of this video right, It don't matter if it's a young Edomite, an old Edomite, a, 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 a Shedomite right? Whatever it is that they did in their past life to, to, to vex and anger And to hurt the children of Israel They go and pay right? An example Right, um, rather, rather, Joel three and nine and nineteen, right? Um, uh, rather, yeah, example of some of the wrong. That's that's what I want to say, right? It says Egypt shall be a desolation. Edom shall be Joel three nineteen. Egypt shall be a desolation. Edom shall be a desolate wilderness for the violence against the children of Judah, because they have shed innocent blood in their land, right? And yo, once again, you just look at how America was founded. It's founded off of the blood. Um, of, of, of the children of Israel, right? And what does the scriptures have to say about that, right? In the Lord, Numbers 35, 33, So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood is defiled of the land, and the land cannot be cleansed, right, um, of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it, right? And he says, oh, no, but it wasn't me, it wasn't me, right? What does the scriptures have to say about that, right? This is Isaiah 14 and 21, it says, prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. Right? Now, you know, some of you like, yeah, but the scripture says in Ezekiel, the, the father shall not pay for the sins of the son, and the son not, shall not pay for the sins of the father. So what is this talking about? It's talking about reincarnation, because you are your forefathers. Right? So when we read um, Numbers 35 and 33, right, where it says, uh, the land, the land cannot be cleansed, right, of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it, you're still here. You're back in a reincarnation. Okay, you're back in a reincarnation, and 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 and, and you're gonna have to, to 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 pay for what it is that you have done, because as it says in Ezekiel thirty-five and five, these Edomites enjoyed shedding the blood, 
of the children of Israel, right? This is Ezekiel 35 and 5, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end, right? Um, uh, therefore, as I love, saith the Lord power, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Sith, which means since, thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Right? So this man, yeah, he, he didn't hate blood. Right? He didn't hate blood. Right? He, he, he enjoyed shedding blood, man. Right? What does it say about Christopher, uh, Christopher Colon, or better known as Christopher Columbus? Right? It says he could not uh, put down his sword. Right? Because of that perpetual hatred, that hate that he had with the children of Israel. So all of these things have to be recompensed. Right? Because thus will I make Mount Seir desolate and cut off from it him that passed out and him that returneth. And I'll fill his mountains with his slain men in thy hills and in thy valleys. And in all thy rivers shall they fall that are slain with the sword. And I'll make thee a perpetual desolation. Thou make thee perpetual desolations, and thy city shall not return. And ye shall know that I am Yahweh. Right? So this devil is going to get paid back, man. Right, and, and we can't wait to see if there's anything more uh, that we can get from these breakdowns. Right, yeah, my Mount City representing America today. Right, yeah, and first night, America will be completely destroyed, man. Right, never and never to be inhabited again, to be a memorial, right, until after, right, you know, to be like, yo, this is this is the recompense of wickedness, this, this is what happens. Is what you get when you allow the wicked to rule, right? And this is Second Thessalonians one and six. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you, right? Once again, what's one of the things that these devils have done? These devils have, uh, you know, had us in hardcore slavery, right? But the beautiful thing is, you know, pursuant to Revelation thirteen nine and ten, right? Says if any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Right here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Right? So we're looking forward to this. We're looking forward to having these uh, different heathens, their, their kings, right? Um, uh, in, in captivity, man. Because this is what they did to us and our king. Scripture says, you know, thou art my king. Right? Uh, this is Psalms uh, 149 and 6, right? Let the high praise of the Most High be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. And hopefully is there pre yet, Mr. Priest, if I want. I believe... Is this the one? No, I'll read it, though. In Isaiah 45, 14, Thus saith Yahweh, the labor of Egypt, the merchandise of Ethiopia, and of the Sabians, men of stature, shall come over unto thee, and they shall be thine. They shall come after thee, in chains they shall come, and they shall fall down unto thee. They shall make supplication unto thee, saying, Surely the Most High is in thee, and there is none else. There is no God. Right? I was actually thinking of, um, it's a good one. I was thinking of the one where it says, um, Isaiah 49 and 23 says, And kings shall be thy nursing fathers, right? And their queens thy nursing mothers. And they, sh they shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth and lick up the dust of thy feet. And thou shalt know that I am Yahweh, for they shall not be ashamed that wait for me. Right? So that, that's what we're looking forward to. And they, they, we go and have these different heathens and their kings alone, man. They're going to be, they gonna be uh, 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 prostrated, man. Right? They're going to be bending and bowing. Can't, other one, can't. <laughs> right? That's what they're going to be saying. Right? Which means, yes, Lord, yes. Okay? And this is Revelation 18 and 6. 18 and 6. Reward her, even though she rewarded you. Right? So, recompense. Get that recompense. Get that payback. Right? This is a double unto a double according to her works. Right? And that double is a metaphorical double. It's not like... You know, this devil whipped you twice, so you whip him four times. No, it's like, he, he, he whipped you? All right, man. Hey, he's all yours, right? It says, and double unto her double according to her works. In the cup which she hath filled, fill to her double, 
right? And then um, uh, 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 in reference to the, you know, to a cup, right? This is Jeremiah forty nine and twelve. So for thus saith Yahweh, behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have surely drunken, and art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Right? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. Right? So it's saying, for thus saith the Lord. Um, so uh, the the children of Israel were, were, were holy unto Yahweh, but we we drunk of that cup which represents you know, slavery. Right, you know the things that we went through. Right, so basically, the Lord, Lord's asking, look, so wait, if my people went through this, right, and that ain't even their lot, how much more saw you? Right, he says, thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. So you go and drink, right, and you know why? Why are you go and drink? Right, it's Obadiah one ten. So for thy violence against thy brother Jacob. Right, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. So all of the violence, all of the wickedness that this devil has done unto the children of Israel, right? Once again, you know, we focus primarily on the Edomites because this is the Edomite captivity, but also because this devil has gone above and beyond, right? Um, a hatred for the children of Israel. It, it is this devil has gone ab above and beyond, um, you know, trying to destroy us, right? So of course we're going to speak about him the most, right? Um, and, and that's it, man, right? For thy violence against our brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever, right? So, hey, man, this recompense is going to be beautiful. Having these Edomites in captivity is going to be beautiful. Having these other heathen nations in captivity is going to be beautiful, right? That first thousand years, all of these different heathens, they're going, to be, they're going to be suffering. And then after a thousand years, the Edomites will be done away with. Right, and the other heathens will become tributaries to the children of Israel. Right? So as always, Lord, that I was edifying until next time we say, Shalom.